Jason, have you ever had a pop gun when you were a little kid? Put yeah, I did. Put a cork in the end yeah. with a little string, then what happened? Well, I'd pump it up, pump it up. I'd pull the trigger and pop. Out would go, I think. Well, you can make one of those that's uh, a lot of fun. All you need is a metal tube like this or okay. a plastic one. The important thing is that you get a piece of wood that just slips inside like that. Okay, now what we have to do is capture the air. And here's how we'll do that. Oh, the, like this is like the cork. Right, that's going to be the cork. But it'll work, as a matter of fact, as two things. Here's the cork, but now you had a plunger. I think you now understand the idea. Yeah, so I get another one. All right. Okay, now when you start with the plunger, here, just hold it here like this. Okay. What's going to happen? Oh, you've already compressed the air. It's coming out a little bit. Okay, what will happen now when you push with the It'll plunger? It'll pop like the that? end out. Why? Well, because the air inside is getting really compressed and it's going to push the other end out because yeah. there's not enough room for it. In other the words, air. the pressure will get greater and greater and greater as the plunger goes here until the pressure is stronger than the friction holding the plug in. And out it'll come. Okay, yeah. so try. Do the firing up that way. Okay. Okay. Not too hard. Look what. And makes a nice wow. popping sound, too. Yeah, that's it? neat. Now, this principle of the pop gun like this is also used in regular uh, per commercial and, prep and uh, professional guns. You've seen guns in which you pump them up like an air rifle. Yeah. It suddenly releases the pressure and out goes the bullet. Others use uh, containers of carbon dioxide gas and fire. Oh, yeah. Like, Same idea. Uh, like those little cars that you put a CO2 cartridge right, in and Right, out comes the gas. Off. Okay. So here, take your ammunition and your pop gun and stand over there, and I'll set up a target for you. Okay. Okay. Not exactly the most accurate gun in the world, but let's see how you do. <laughs> Go ahead, fire. Ha! A little low. Try again. Okay. Now, the plunger now becomes your ammunition, right? Yeah. There. Well, you pushed them both out. Yeah. Anyway, you get the general idea. You can make these for your young friends because they have a lot of fun firing the thing and they really can't hurt anybody.